Hi guys, uh, this is Natalie, and I am going to be talking to you guys about Acts 23 through 26 um, from our journey through Acts and Romans that we're going through this summer. Um, but first of all, before we get dive deep into the Jesus talk, my name is Natalie Gross, and let me show you around my crib. This is my bedroom. Some little things I could show you from it would be, oh, this is my daughter, Savon, say hi, hi, and, well, shared custody, of course, because me and a few other people help pay for her. That's been a cool experiment, experience, not experiment, and another thing would be Mr. Cooper back here, my guest star. He's asleep though. Boring. Um, so, and a little bit about what's been going on this summer would be that I am working, I'm not doing an internship, but I am working a job that will lead me more into my career. So I'm, I'm doing like a respite care and I'm getting trained for home health. So I work with three to four different clients and help them with their daily living needs and things like that. You know, it's taught me a lot of patience and just acts of service. Definitely acts of service, which is something that my heart's always been at, but seeing it put to the test, you know, daily this summer is something that's been really cool. And I've enjoyed it a lot, even though it's kept me busy, but busy is good. Uh, and another thing would be my this empty picture frame. Notice how it says sister on the top? That's because Tort's not here. During the, uh, Victoria isn't here during the summer. She's at an internship in Indianapolis all summer, which is really cool. Go Victoria. But at the same time, you take a twin away from a twin, a twin doesn't know what to do. So it's kind of lonely at times, but it's okay. I'm proud of her. Okay, so enough who's he, what's he going on. I'm sorry for being weird. But. The book of Acts so far has gone over the, so Jesus died, raised again. So what this is going over is the acts of Jesus and his spirit. The acts, acts of Jesus and his spirit, it fits. And so it's about how we have the Holy Spirit inside of us and he wants us to go and spread his word. Um, not just Old Testament stuff, but New Testament, like he is here again and he is going to do his work and so that's that's something that's been in the works throughout acts and you get to see uh, people grow in their faith like especially in acts 23 through 26 has been seeing how paul who was formerly saw and persecuted christians um how he became paul and is now like getting his word out there farther than jerusalem because what has happened is the Jews don't agree with who, who are now Christians, those who have broken off from the Jewish be culture because of Jesus raising from the dead. Um, and they have been able to go, that the persecution was actually good because it allowed them to leave Jerusalem and spread their word further. And so, so what this 23 to 26 specifically is about is about Paul spreading his word and the Jewish people do not like that. So they're revolting against him, they're all rioting, and some people in high power see this, and they're like, whoa, what is this guy doing that's making everybody angry? So they put him in jail. They don't really know why yet, but they know that he's making everybody angry. People, people want to kill him, and so he gets asked, why are you in jail? Like, what, what did you do? And so he, what he does is he just says plain and simple, I am spreading the word of the Lord. I follow what God tells me to do, and and that's just simply it. But, he, but the cool thing is, as they disrespect him and say, like, you know, what are you doing here? Um, he shows them respect back. He always, you know, confronts them for who they are and says that he is 
thankful to get to talk to them and share his word with them. So that's really cool to see. But he ends up being in jail for years because they still don't know what to do with him. He gets passed down from people who have to ask him, like, you know, why are you in here? Until finally he gets to talk to a certain king that, you know, he gets to share all about, like, you know, I, I was Saul, and he gets to share how he became Paul, and this guy listens to him, and he thinks that Paul might be like, yeah, you know, this is how I'm getting out, but no, the, he just kind of tells him he's crazy still, and that's basically where it ends up, he, he still has hope uh, in the resurrection, that's, that's where he gets his hope, he is in jail, but he is still willing to share the gospel and share, you know, the Holy Spirit that's inside of him and has kept him strong. And so the next two chapters, that'll be the end, we'll get to see, you know, where that leads. Um, and hopefully he'll get to go to the Kaysir, some something like that, the High Council, and get to talk to them because he's not backing down. He's not taking no for an answer and he's not taking the easy way out. He's going all the way because he knows that he needs to get his point across. And that's something that's been really cool to me. And just, he's not afraid to be different. He's not afraid to not go along with what everybody else is doing. Everybody hates him. And maybe he could have said some things earlier that could have got him out easy, but that's not what he wanted. He wanted to be truthful, honest, and he wasn't afraid to be weird considered to everybody else that was there. So, I think it's a good thing in saying that we shouldn't be afraid to be weird either in the right ways, like be those crazy Bible people that are like, hey, have you heard about Jesus? And you know, there's good, there's better ways to approach it, obviously. Um, but, you know, don't be afraid to be different. Don't be afraid to take conversations and turn them towards the Lord. And just, even when you feel like, you're Michael W. Smith, he sings the song Surrounded. That's a good song that fits. Even though you might be surrounded, God is with you. And I think that is what the biggest thing I've been able to learn from this has been. And I hope that you guys are able to learn some stuff too. Well, thank you for listening. Thank you for getting through this whole video and sitting with me. And I hope you have a great rest of your summer. That you have some cool memories to share. And I really hope that whatever situation you're in during the summer, whoever you get to be with, that you get to bring a story back of something that has changed another person or has changed you in relation to God. What has God done in your life? And I look forward to seeing you all and getting to hear those stories come August. So have a great day and enjoy your week.